gray hair stress causes gray hair welcome guys in this video i am going to tell you that how stress causes gray hair so continue to watch the video for full detail and subscribe to the channel for the latest upcoming videos for a long time anecdotes have connected stressful experiences with the phenomenon of hair graying now for the first time Harvard University scientists have discovered exactly how the process plays out. Stress activities, nerves that are part of the fight or flight response, which in turn causes permanent damage to pigment regenerating stem cells in hair follicles. The study published in Nature advances scientists knowledge of how stress can impact the body Everyone has an anecdote to share about how stress affects their body, particularly in their skin and hair. The only tissues we can see from the outside, said senior author Yashio Hishu, the Elvin and Ista Store Associate Professor of Stem Cell and Regenerative Biology at Howard. We wanted to understand if this connection is true and if so, how stress to lead to changes in diverse tissues. Hair pigmentation is such an accessible and tractable system to start with. And besides, we were genuinely curious to see if stress indeed leads to hair graying. Let's go deep into the study. 1. Stress affects the whole body. Because stress affects the whole body, researchers first had to narrow down which body system was responsible for connecting stress to hair color. The team first hypothesized that stress causes an immune attack on pigment producing cells. Stress always elevates levels of the hormone cortisol in the body, so we thought that cortisol might play a role, said by the senior author Yashu Shu. After systematically eliminating different possibilities, researchers honed in on the sympathetic nerve system, which is responsible for the body's fight or flight response. Sympathetic nerves branch out into each hair follicle on the skin. The researchers found that stress causes these nerves to release the chemical norepinephrine, which gets taken up by nearby pigment regenerating stem cells. Two. Stress causes permanent pigment damage. In the hair follicle, certain stem cells act as a reservoir of pigment producing cells. When hair regenerates, some of the stem cells convert into pigment producing cells that color the hair. Researchers found that the norepinephrine from sympathetic nerves causes the stem cells to activate excessively. The stem cells all convert into pigment producing cells prematurely depleting the reservoir. When they started to study this, they expected that the stress was bad for the body. But the detrimental impact of stress that we discovered was beyond what they imagined, said by the senior author Yashu Hashu. After just a few days, all of the pigment regenerating stem cells were lost. Once they are gone, you can't regenerate pigment anymore. The damage is permanent. The finding underscores the negative side effects of an otherwise protective evolutionary response, the researchers said. Acute stress, particularly the flight or flight response, has been traditionally viewed to be beneficial for an animal survival. But in this case, acute stress causes permanent depletion of stem cells, said postdoctoral fellow Bing Yong the lead author of the study. 3. Connection of stress with hair graying To connect stress with hair graying, the researchers started with a whole body response and progressively zoomed into individual organ systems, cell-to-cell -cell interaction and eventually all the way down to molecular dynamics. The process required a variety of research tools along the way, including methods to manipulate organs, nerves, and cell receptors. We know that peripheral neurons powerfully regulate organ function, blood vessels, and immunity, but less is known about how they regulate stem cells, senior author Yashu Shu said. With this study, we now know that neurons can control stem cells and their function. 
and can explain how they interact at the cellular and molecular level to link stress with hair growing. The findings can help eliminate the broader effects of stress on various organs and tissues. This understanding will pave the way for new studies that seek to modify or block the damaging effects of stress.